Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be making a video about how to nurture your sense of secure attachment. And I'm going to be pulling from a book called Buddha's Brain. And it's, I mentioned it in my recommendations. It's really awesome. I really think you guys should pick it up. It is the practical neuroscience of happiness, love, and wisdom. So I'm going to be reading from a part, a chapter called Cooling the Fires. And this section is called Nurture Your Sense of Secure Attachment. So your childhood relationships with major caregivers, notably your parents, have probably had a great influence on your expectations, attitudes, emotions, and actions in your important relationships as an adult. To summarize a large body of research, the recurring experiences of recurring experiences a young child has with her parents, which are affected by the child's temperament, will lead to one of four modes of attachment to them. Secure, insecure, avoidant, insecure, anxious, and disorganized attachment. The type of attachment to one parent is largely, largely independent of the type of attachment to the other one. Insecure attachment modes appear to be associated with characteristic patterns of neural activity, such as lack of integration between the prefrontal cortex and the limbic system. So basically the prefrontal cortex is the front part of your brain and the limbic system is the, the lower down kind of your emotional center of your brain. And so reading on, attachment modes tend to persist into adulthood and become the underlying default template for important relationships. If, like a large fraction of the population, you grew up with insecure avoidant or insecure anxious or even disorganized, you can still change that template so you, have, so you experience a sense of security in your relationships. Here are some good methods for doing so. One, develop self-understanding of how your upbringing affected your relationships with your parents, especially in early childhood, and then acknowledge any insecure attachment. So this is, this is huge. This is basically what Harris Harrington talks about when he says that you need to understand your family system and you need to understand the past of your family. You need to understand why you have developed insecure attachment, may, whether that be from parents who came from alcoholic family or just any dysfunctional family like that or just if there are circumstances where the parent couldn't be totally consistent in attuning to you, whatever the case may be, just becoming aware of that and noticing and, and really understanding how this affected you as a kid and even now. And so the next one is bring compassion to yourself for any sense of insecurity. This basically means that you forgive yourself for not being able to be aware of what you're aware of now. It means that you love yourself 100% and that you know you you were in this harsh harsh place back then and even if you're in a harsh place now you're at least in a better spot now to where you can sit back and really realize what happened and so because of that you can just bring some understanding and love to yourself which is really important to just soak in good feelings about yourself because when you come from these families that are dysfunctional and not that they mean to to take take away from your sense of self but they do and so you really need to act on self-love. You need to really be there for yourself and just love yourself 100% no matter what. Uh, number three, as much as possible, seek out nurturing and reliable people and take in the feeling of being with them. Also, do what you can to be treated well in your existing relationships. So, what this is saying is that you need to find people who are secure. You need to find people who you do find comfort in. Basically, this means that you need to focus on the people that love you. You need to focus on the people that don't annoy you, don't bring harm to you. You need to focus on the people that really do care, the people that really do listen to you. You need to focus on them and you need to go be with them as much as possible. And this will help you gain a sense of security because you'll be able to go to them, talk about things, and they can talk about things with you and you'll build this internal working model of how relationships are supposed to be. So. And the second part of that, also do what you can do to be treated well in your existing relationships. This involves developing assertiveness, and this means 
that you are able to say what you need. And this is something I'm still working on, being able to say, say how you feel and go to a, a person or know how to get your needs met. And if someone is abusing you emotionally or physically, well, even if physically or psychologically, being able to say, you know, I don't like that, please don't do that. So that's really important. And one thing that's really helped me with that is meditating. Meditating every morning, even if it's just for a few minutes, just focusing on your breath, um, extending your exhalation activates your parasympathetic nervous system and if you're like me you and if you're watching this video you probably have an overactive sympathetic nervous system and so you need you need to dampen that you want to get rid of the need for your body and your brain to be searching for a threat at all times because there's the odds are that there's no threat that's really all that bad there's no threat that's really fatal for you to be looking out for right now so Activating your parasympathetic nervous system, breathing, <sighs> extending your, your exhalation really helps and it will help with their assertiveness. Uh, number four, practice mindfulness of your inner state including through meditation. In effect, you are giving yourself today the attention and attunement you should have received as a child. Mindfulness activates the midline regions of your brain and helps inc increase the coordination between the PFC the prefrontal cortex and the limbic system uh, in the limbic system. These are key neural streps, substrates of secure attachment. So by practicing mindfulness, what mindfulness is is just being aware of the present moment and not judging it, not trying to change it, just being aware and allowing. And this can be helped by meditation too. Um, I'll put a link in the description to some meditation uh, guided meditations that I follow. Um, <clears throat> some guided meditations that I follow on or that I listen to on YouTube and that's a great way to start off your day for real. Um, but just being aware of what's going on in your body, how you feel, what's what's going on inside of you, if you have any tension anywhere, if you have any aches, or what emotions you're feeling and feeling where those are in your body. That's really important. And so yeah, you're basically, even though you didn't get the attention that you needed when you were younger, you can give yourself the, that attention now. And that's what that means by, by being mindful of your inner experience. And also, like I said in the, the previous um, points, or like it said in the previous points, going to people that can be there for you and comfort you. That is huge. And so basically by doing, by putting yourself in a state where you can be mindful of your, your own state and going to people that can truly care for you, you are physically changing your brain, you're integrating your brain, which is how you're going to heal. And mindfulness or med and meditation or mindfulness meditation really helps you with your emotions and that's kind of what that integration between your your prefrontal cortex and your your limbic system does is it allows you to have better control over your emotions so there's a bunch of other stuff in this book that would be super helpful that I plan on referencing and, and drawing from um, to help you guys out because this stuff has helped me a lot and a lot of stuff that is in this book is in a lot of other books that a lot of emotional like freedom books and and like self-help books and like changing for the better and there's really this like deeper connection between all of it which is basically like accepting what is and being able to accept what is and then being able to then move on so hope you guys enjoyed this is an awesome book go get it on Amazon or at Barnes & Noble that's where I got it Barnes & Noble but yeah so nurture your sense of secure attachment think of people who love you most be with them as much as possible meditate focus on your breath 
lengthen your exhalations, activate your parasympathetic nervous system, be relaxed, let go, don't worry about things, it's all going to be okay, just chillax, alright?